I come into town some oh, about 1982. I'd gone to the university, studied for five years, and played on stages in the military and all around the country. And now I was walking down the street and I saw this guy with his guitar case out, and he was playing his guitar and singing in front of McDonald's on Third and Pike. It was back before they put in that overhead sound system. He was just playing away, and he had a kind of a Robin Hood little cap on and a feather sticking out of it, and he was just a dancing up and down and playing his guitar and having all kinds of good time. So I stopped and I said, hey, excuse me, uh, so what's your name? And he said, Randy Ritter. And I said, well, you know, Randy, I, I really admire your uh, technique here playing on the street, and I, I'd like to stop and analyze what you're doing, because I... I'm trained at the university and I've never played out on the street before and so I want to see kind of capture the essence of your style. So uh, if you don't mind, I'd like to sit down over here at the bus stop and take a few notes. And he said, oh sure, go ahead. <laughs> so I went over and sat down at the bus stop. It was back before they put the plexiglass on, you could actually hear the music and whatnot. And I began to write, and I thought, well, I better have a title for this, and the guy's name was Randy Ritter. So I said, we'll call this Handy Randy the Ritter Critter. It goes like this. You know, I watch the passing people. You can tell they don't know me. They won't know it if I blow it, and they'll think I play for free, so I'll just miss a note right here, or two, or even three, and I'll... I'll paint a picture with these words for all to plainly see. You see, I've got no time for welfare lines or food stamp applications, unemployment, state industrial, or even bankers tabulations, because it's really plain to see when you get to know me that music is the name of my game. So if I can't get along on a smile and a song, then I've only got myself to blame. I'll let you stand in my place so you can look at your face through these eyes that have seen you before, and you'll soon realize that for a street wise guy, I'm the richest of the poorest of the poor. It never did me any good to just wish that I could bring a smile to the faces I meet. So now I sing and I dance and I sweet talk romance while I tap out the beat on the street. As the crowd gathers in, I start playing again all the songs they've been longing to hear. But through the lines and the rhymes and, well, even the really hard times, there's a message I'd like to make clear. I like to sing all day even when you go away, so it's not just the quarters that you flip that keeps me here in front of you while I do these things. I do. I'm really waiting for a $50 tip. You see, the cost of my debts and every other cigarette has risen high, and I might die before they're due so please just pause right here a while and remember with a smile it's true I'm trying to sell these songs to you now if I fell down dead and in the papers you read that I was finally planted safely underground you could hang your head and sigh that poor man just had to die because there wasn't enough to go around Handy Randy the Ritter Critter. Now 20 years later after writing that, Randy died of a heroin overdose in the bathrooms in the men's room down in the Pike Place Market where he worked his life. Ode to Randy Ritter. <laughs>